Mm. Yeah. No, not neat. I been plotting on the low. Scheming on the low. The farthest thing from perfect, like everyone I know. This portion of the video is sponsored by Eula Hair. The raw Indian curly 13 by 4 HD lace frontal wig in the length 24 inches. Comes with combs. And I did remove the combs that were right here to make it lay flatter. And then there also is an elastic band that will help to hold it down to your head. I got a wig cap, the instruction, comb, edge band, lashes. There also is lace in the back. So you do have that option to put your hair up in a ponytail have it on. The only comb I'm gonna use is the one in the back. See the wig is very full. 13 by 4, you get a good amount of parting space. I'm air to air. Curls feel so soft. I'm gonna be using the lace tinting spray in the color medium brown. And then I'm just going to spray the lace. There are some knots that are exposed and I want it to be more seamless. You could use foundation powder or you can bleach the knots. You see, I decide to spray the top of it to really cover those knots. So now I'm going to cut off the lace. I'm actually really loving the way this hairline looks and even with the tinted brown at the front. I'm really digging it actually. I'm glad I did that. I have to cut these ear tabs. That is the ear tab. Go on. Adhesive spray right in front of my hairline. Blow dryer on a cool. Blow dry it till it dries tacky. It is now tacky. Pull it forward and just push it in. Now I'm gonna use my new edge band right here with the styrofoam. Lay down my edges to let it set, get it as tight as possible. Okay, I will be back to customize the front of the hair. All right, it's looking really good. Tweezer man, tweezers. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tweeze behind the hairline. Pull out the baby hairs like this. So the adhesive spray, you see it's not moving. So you could see it's very thinned out, giving very much scalp. And I cut the baby hairs. Since I messed it up by like thinning it out and brushing it out, I want to define my curls. I already chose my part to the side. Using the olive oil rice water curl defining mousse. So I'm just gonna rake it through. You see it's coming back already. Look at how beautiful the hair turned out. The hair looks so good. You see how I just put that up in a pony with one hand? That's how loose feeling the curls are. The 22 inches drops so nicely on me. So make sure you check out the link down in the description box below to get your hands on this wig. This wig is absolutely gorgeous. I also have a discount code to get money off. Let me know down below what you think about the wig. Hey everyone! So today is gonna be a new vlog and we are about to go and get some breakfast. So I'm so excited. I haven't went out for breakfast in a while. So I am dressed like fall. It is fall now. Well, it's been fall, but it's October now. The start of a new month and I'm feeling very fall, very, very fall. We're about to go get some breakfast at a diner and trying it out for the first time. So I hope that's really good. You know, I'm a foodie, so it's a diner called Diner Bar. <laughs> there were so many different diners to choose from. I just went off of the reviews and the pictures, so I hope that's good. But if I'm not feeling the ambiance, the menu, like in person, we're just gonna go somewhere else. It's not too, too late. It's 10 a.m. now. Mila's at school. Lakeith and I get a moment out together alone, adult time. What's up, everybody? Oh, wait, Lakeith got glasses, y'all. Y'all didn't ever see him. We got glasses at the same time. He got some Prada Johns, too. So we got a parking spot right in front. Look at Lee. Oh. So I'm so excited. Babe, what are you doing? It's hot. Lucky. You don't hear me talking to you. What? So what are you doing? Changing. Changing. Let me see if I could. It smell like it smell like straight piss right here. Like who peed here? Let me see if I could catch a fit. Is it too much sunlight? So this is the dress. It's so rank. Somebody peed right here. Ugh. 
but this is the dress from that blooming jelly haul it's so cute but it's kind of hot today all the other days it was so cold and now when i'm wearing something fall appropriate it's hot but it's all right it's like hot hot so see we got a spot right out front baby you think it's gonna be good yeah I money, baby. you no in here you think know. it's gonna taste good better thank you <laughs> oh i love the ambiance the ambiance in here is actually really nice it has a nice little rustic look <laughs> just show you guys see it's nice and then they have a little bar over there in the cut Come with the lemon, okay? Thank you. got my little cup This is good. Yeah, they're growing. They're growing me here. Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah. I know you want some. Yeah, you do. Go ahead. It's good, right? It's good. It's not worthy. They brewed it. You used to that instant coffee. That's why. Lockheed likes instant coffee all of a sudden. I don't mean you must drink off my coffee. <laughs> Ask him for a cup. Definitely want some pancakes, y'all. Ooh, pan buttermilk pancakes, cinnamon sugar, fresh berries. Homemade vanilla with Belgian waffles, chicken and waffles. Homemade vanilla buttermilk waffles. Ooh, I think I might do chicken and waffles. Babe got a... Uh, Freshly squeezed lemonade. It's like literally fresh, right? Mm -hmm. He tasted it and he could taste the tart. Thank you so much. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. These buttermilk plant pancakes. I switched up and got chicken with pancakes instead of chicken and waffle. Babe, you got what? Pancakes? Yeah, no, no, hell no. French toast. Don't be hell no on pancakes. Mm, 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 he got the, them home fries look good. I'm gonna eat some. Babe, look at your French good. toast. Thank you. Why mine don't look like that? That's beautiful. <laughs> I know you're feeling yourself right now. It's regular. I'm That's a regular? It's not regular. This is amazing, baby. I've been places. <laughs> when <six. laughs> <Camera. laughs> You want this? Mila would have loved it here. <laughs> I bring her. She's your You're going to bring her next time. You got Oreo French toast. Are you going to feed me? Yeah. Feed me some, sir. That looks so indulgent. My goodness. Mm. That was not neat. Oh, it's hot and steamy. Yeah. Mm. So I demolished my food. They just fry the chicken very, very like hard, but it's well seasoned and nice. It's just I got weak teeth, y'all. I can't, I can't really bite it. Babe, he still got his French toast left over. Home fries still there. He ate the bacon and the eggs. He don't know how to eat. I gotta teach him how to eat. You see, I know how to eat. He don't know how to eat. I gotta teach this man how to eat. <laughs> All right, so breakfast is done. It was really nice to actually go out for breakfast and get my mind off of, you know, all of the fertility stuff and everything. So it was nice to just relax and be served. I have a peppermint in my mouth that they gave us in when leaving because I started to feel a little nauseous like indigestion type of nausea I, I ate some of his home fries and all the ketchup and the spice just gave me indigestion but other than that the pancakes were amazing like amazing better than IHOP how did you like breakfast? it was good he's full. so full and how are you feeling about the whole fertility journey real quick? um you just gotta, gotta roll the punches can't get excited or nothing is nothing happening yet. Yes, babe has gotten excited a lot in the past. 
and the disappointment would have him upset for like two weeks straight. So I'm just stay quiet about it and just wait and watch. See what happens. Yes. We'll see. So we're about to go to Marshall's really quickly to do some fall decor shopping. And Bay parked a little far from the entrance so we could walk off some of this food. <laughs> Hopefully we could find something in the Marshall. If not, I guess I'll go to TJ Maxx. Uh, I'm not too close to a home good, so I don't know. But I don't really know what I'm looking for as far as home decor. Maybe just some little things to add to what I already have, but I'm not gonna go full out. But I was more so leaning towards like black decor for like the living room since I already have black to kind of blend in. But we're gonna see. Ooh. <laughs> it's not automatic. I automatically seen some stuff. Oh my goodness. I spoke up the black decor and here we are. Oh, you are so cute. Why are you so cute for? Hmm? Why are you so cute for? I like this black pumpkin. Oh, it's very lightweight. Okay. This is nice too. Oh, look at all of these things. Wow. I'm so overwhelmed. I don't know what to choose. Babe, what do you like from here? Oh, wow, you found it finally. The, the body scrubber. I never even thought of coming to Marshall's for that. He's excited. Why is this man staring at me? This is nice. Oh, this is more like Thanksgiving. Oh, look at that. Is that a candle? That's a candle. Yeah, this is an actual candle. Oh, they don't really smell like nothing. It's just cute. Apple pie. How much is this? $8? That's cute. I just want to show Lucky. I don't think I'm going to get that though. Babe, I was calling you Whatever. to help. Remember, we got to pick out candles. Look at this. This is a pine, uh, apple pie candle. No, right? I didn't want it. I just think it don't smell like it. It don't smell like nothing, though. Remember, we want one. Monster store. Yeah, there's so much more candles to choose from. What you think? I just smelled this um, bourbon this barrel cake one, but it smells a lot like bourbon. What is that? Pumpkin citrus. Oh, this is nice. It says it neutralizes pet odor. We don't have a pet right now, but you know when it does that, that means it makes the place smell really good. I'm walling right now, leaving my bag right <laughs> Oh, spa day. Wait, hold on. We're we supposed to be looking at pumpkin me things. What's this? Crown pumpkin berry? Try this one. Focus, focus. That smells good. Focus, focus. I just don't like this. This top. It's hocus pocus. I mean, I like the top. Look at a vanilla cinnamon. Oh my god. This one, babe. Yeah, it will smell the same. I don't like the after. Ugh. <laughs> This smells like baby powder. Oh, sand and fog. Babe, this one smells like baby powder. This smells like. Tell me, you, tell me what cereal this smells like. That's my cereal. That smells like a cereal. No, it don't. Yes, it do. What cereal? Apple Jacks. Well, ever know. since you got COVID that one time, yes, your, your, your senses. Yeah, How does he not smell that? Yes, it does smell like Apple Jacks. <laughs> 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 
Where? Thanksgiving feast. I smelled this once before. It smelled like chicken for a room. I don't want a chicken smell. <sighs> this is harder than I thought. All right. The decisions are crazy today because it's so much to choose from. I'm going to switch out that throw in the living room. Hmm. All right, we are back in the house and I'm just gonna go through really quickly what we got. Didn't get that many things. The Marshalls had a lot of stuff, but they didn't really have what I was looking for. And Lakeith was saying that we should go into another store again, but I didn't really feel like it. So who knows, I might go into Target, I'm not sure. Okay, so we got these stems. They're like little pumpkins on top. They're by Martha Stewart. It was $9.99 for this like two stems they also had the white one but i felt like the pop of orange would have been really nice then i did go ahead and get the textured big pumpkin opposed to the smaller ones and this was 12.99 and i really really love the, the texture on this and i feel like this is an item that i would keep for a while just to keep on using it within my decor changes because it's black and you know yeah, I really like that. We did not choose a candle because I remembered I just got one of those wicker candles or something like that from Target last year and I didn't even burn it yet. And lastly, I just got this throw <laughs> and it was $16.99. They had a pillow to match it, which I wanted, but it was in a lumbar pillow. I want a lumbar pillow to replace the one I have right here. I guess I'll just wait until I could probably like go to home goods or something or Target. So I'm just gonna put these things out really quickly just to kind of spuge it up and get the whole fall decor transition going to kind of like get me in the mood. Yeah, I'll just continuously keep picking up stuff as I go. I've been missing out the walk with the minute. Uh. I been building all the blocks like a me. Uh, uh, Elliot got water dripping out the city. Huh? Uh, oh my God, boy he got a guy. Huh? Uh, oh my God, boy that boy on top. Uh, Sipping walk, uh, make my heart start. Uh, what? Audio, uh, yeah my love my tie. Uh, yo, all the go, uh, put her on roll, uh, put that on payroll, uh, put that on go. Uh, yeah she like to go, uh, yeah she love to flow. Uh, get that bitch so, uh, like a snow cone. Uh, yo, get that bag. Uh, some new things if you've seen my apartment updates living room transformation video um you already knew like how i came about all of this i'll link that video below but yeah so i went ahead and did some crinkly things to the stems to kind of make them look like they're like from outside it's up straight it looked weird to me i feel like this just looks so much better just doing the little crimple thing like the pumpkins are just hanging on them and i just love the way it looks um the white definitely would have tied in but i feel like the pop of color made it look really nice and i just can't get over this textured pumpkin i love it so much i'm so happy i went with the black it blends in but then when your eye meets it it's just like wow okay and when i turn this light on right here it'll definitely pop and then i went ahead and just added some books some home decor books and wine books and stuff here with my book chain thing here because i felt like it was just very um plain i don't have any like coffee table books right now so i just diy'd it right here really quickly and then the vanilla pumpkin 
candle I was telling you I already had from Target, so why not? I haven't even burned it yet, so I think this is a nice little start so far. It's really cute. And then over here, nothing changed but the throw. I removed the pillow, so that's another thing that changed. I felt like the pillow that was there before just didn't go with what I have going on. So far, I switched that around a little bit. It's really, really oversized, so I had to fold it up, and I love the fringe and the texture and the colors. I feel like this orange just goes with the pop of the pumpkin, and then, you know, I'm gonna just keep it going with decorating right here because it just looks kind of empty right now. So let me know what you think about the progress so far. And then I'll just keep on adding things throughout the vlogs and we'll just see what we come up with overall. Okay, so tonight I wanted to try a new recipe again. So I'm gonna be doing stuffed salmon for dinner tonight. Um, every week I'm challenging myself to try to make a different dish since I'm new in the kitchen and I just want to start to get better at cooking. I did look up like a little recipe to kind of like follow a little bit, but I'm going to wing certain things. I stopped by the supermarket today and I got a filet of salmon, wild caught salmon. It's about a pound and three ounces, I think. So I'm going to be slitting the middle of the salmon. My salmon is not really not that thick, but I just want to make like a little pocket inside to stuff. So I'm going to try to make it as deep as I can without it going through. So I think that's the deepest I'm going to get this one because this is kind of like not that uniform. This one looks like it'll be okay. Oop. Went a little too far. And then here. Okay, that looks pretty deep right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and season. I'm gonna use some seafood seasoning. I'm just gonna lightly season them. As on. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Garlic and herb. A little bit of paprika, a little bit. I'm also gonna pour a little bit of olive oil on them. Then I'm gonna go ahead and rub in that seasoning. Go ahead and transfer each to a baking dish and set this aside. Okay, so for the filling, I'm going to be using some whipped cream cheese. You can use regular cream cheese. I just feel like whip is just gonna flow a lot better. So for four fillets, you need four ounces. I don't know how to do the ounces like that. This is a 12 ounce container. So eight tablespoons would be equivalent to four ounces. That is what I'm doing here. So next we need some spinach. You could use frozen spinach, but I have fresh spinach. So I'm just gonna take off the stems though. I don't want no stems in that. And I'm going to chop up half a cup, which is equivalent to four ounces, as fine as I could. Stems. Just like dice it up and add it to my cream cheese. Then I'm gonna add some grated Parmesan cheese. If you have fresh Parmesan cheese, that would be great. I'm gonna do one fourth cup or however much you want. A little bit of garlic powder. If you have actual garlic cloves, you could chop it up. Um, some salt, some black pepper. This is how it's looking. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it until everything is combined and smooth. Okay, so this is how my mixture's looking. I feel like if the cream cheese was any harder, it wouldn't have been that easy to mix. So I'm gonna take a spoonful, try to get it in there. I wish my salmon was a lot thicker. I feel oh, like- Nice, babe. It look good. I feel like the salmon I got, I bought it fresh, but she said it was frozen. And I feel like if it was fresh, it would have been more plump. Yeah, she said you had three days to eat. <laughs> Let me kiss. Y'all see my beautiful wife doing her thing? I'm trying. 
<laughs> this one is gonna be a perfect. We about, we about to start selling plates, ten dollars. You heard? No, no, no. But that's not hype. Twenty dollars a plate. I'm still, I'm still <laughs> learning, Lockie. She making cookies from scratch. They don't know about that. I didn't tell them about me doing oh, that. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> I test it out. I don't want to. This I never test it out, but I make salmon all the time, so I just feel like this shouldn't be too hard. At least I, I think it, do, it wouldn't be too hard. You go, baby. <laughs> you over there, Drew? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look good. I ain't gonna lie. I, I always wanted. What's to... the size gonna be? The size? Oh, Cheddar Bay biscuits, the Red Lobster one. Where you got those? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Mm. It's that splat. And rice? And rice, yes. I know y'all like <laughs> double carbs. Yellow rice? Yellow rice? <laughs> oh, yeah. these are not the prettiest. <laughs> All right, so look at them. They're not the prettiest, but we gonna make it do what it do. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make these red lobster cheddar bay biscuits from the box, of course. It tastes just like the real thing. I got the stuffed salmon here. I'm gonna put it in the oven on 350 for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna do like 14 minutes, but you could do anywhere between 10 to 15, depending on how you want it. And then I also got the cheddar bay biscuits here ready to go in. This is supposed to go on 425, but I'm still gonna pop it in on 350 and just watch it and then let it cook the remainder time because I'm trying to like do this all. It's a school night, okay? We trying to get this rolling. So the salmon is all done here. I got some rice going, but the biscuits, I did up the temperature to 425 and I wanted to have side a, a side of greens I planned on having asparagus, but the asparagus, the asparagus that I bought like five days ago spoiled already. And I had like a whole bunch of asparagus and it's, it's spoiled and I'm like so upset about it. But I guess the little bit of spinach that's in the stuff part will do for right now because I don't got any other greens that I feel like will really go with this on hand right now. So we're going to do what it do. All right. So here is my plate. I put it over a bed, a small bed of rice because I got this biscuit that looks so freaking good. Pakif is not eating now. He's playing the game with his friends. But I wanted to try this because it's my first time making it. So I wanted to try it on camera. Ooh, it's falling apart. Oh my God. Wait, hold on. I outdid myself. Don't forget to season your salmon, y'all. It tastes better when you season it. Oh my God. It's like a creamy mashed potato type of thing. If you end up having extra cream cheese mixture or stuffing mixture, you can melt it in a pot, like cook it in a pot and then drizzle it on top. Oh my goodness. It's like a creamy, I don't know how to explain it. I'm gonna go eat. We're all gonna go eat. Mr. Babe finally came off of the game and he finished his food and he's laying down now because he's so full. <laughs> So, how was the food, babe? Show you the show my whole time. You fought toy. <laughs> that food was good, man. It was the best he thing you made so far. Yeah, how is that the best thing I made? I think because he loves seafood. Because there's no way that's the best thing. You said you love the stew chicken, the, the pork chops. And I don't know what else what you else? said you had love. But he's going to say that was the best. The best? What else I said I loved? I don't know. I don't know but y'all. No, it was good. I was actually good. I ain't just saying that because she's my wife. But it's actually good. I ain't gonna lie.
Yo, that massage was everything. It is 87 degrees outside right now. Why? I mean, I ain't complaining, but I got on a sweater. Like, this is the second day in the row. I'm dressing fall-like, okay? Fall is here, but it's like we're in the Midwest or the West right now, the way that it's like saying 80, 80 degrees, 87 degrees, like, what is going on? Is it global warming? But yeah, that massage was must, much needed. Bay went ahead to work. He treated us to a little quick couple massage. It was nice. The lady was getting my knots out. I've been very stressed and a lot of knots built up in your girl's body. So it was, I just feel good. I feel really good. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm just, I feel good. Like, I think we should get a massage at least once a week or every two weeks i'm talking about everyone watching like yeah treat yourself to a massage at least you know if you could afford it or find like a little hole in the wall place that does like 40 to 50 dollars full body or something like that every other week or you know once a month something like do you see the smile on my face like come on we all need it right uh, so i'm gonna continue with this little self-care day and um Bay is also treating me to the salon, nail salon. <laughs> I want to get my nails done. They look a hot mess. I haven't had my nails done um, in months. I've been wearing press-ons and then I just wanted to make my nails breathe a little bit. I didn't, I don't have you guys on the car mount. I don't know why. I, I just, I'm rushing, actually. My appointment's at 1.33. It's, I mean, it's at 1.30 and it's 1.33. So I'm rushing, y'all. So I didn't put y'all on the mount. And then um, I want to do my toes, too. I had to give my feet a break because I think I felt like I caught a little tiny fungus from that place that I was going to for a little while. Yeah, I had to give it a little break. So I'm going to look at how I'm going to a new place. So we're going to see how they set up is. But I feel like it really be the tools. It'd be the tools that they use in, right? It got to be because they're using the bag. The bag is in it. Hold on. I never could tell where the ambulance is coming from. Oh, see? I'm looking that way. It's coming from that way. I have a great sense of direction, but the sound. I, I may have a hearing problem when it comes to amuletas. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it took me like five minutes to park and it was a big behind spot. What the heck is going on with me? Okay. Hi, I had an appointment at 1.30. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right here. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. I don't know. I just want like a nudish color. It's a big fly. Oh God. I don't know what to choose. I'm really pushing it because I have to pick up meals soon. And it looks like everyone's busy. But I was thinking about trying a new nail shape instead of square. I'll be going on Pinterest for everything. Here, I was thinking about trying the almond almond shape uh, i don't know Move the juice after loose she had better she show her panty she shake it like jelly hey y'all <laughs> i made it right on time to go get me oh i was supposed to turn i was me i don't want me i don't getting too hyped so I just got my nails did. I only had enough time. All right, Miss Meirio, you're just a chat, chat, chat. I'm trying to talk to my friends here. She's just talking. So yeah, um, I only had enough time to get my nails done. I'm gonna go get my pedicure tomorrow because they take their time in there, which I appreciate. Took their time, sanitize, disinfect the nail clipper. The nail, well, you can't disinfect the nail file, but she disinfect the nail clipper and like any tool that she was gonna use like on my skin, on my nails, which I appreciate so much. I haven't seen people do that in a long time. I'm very, 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 very 
interested to see how they're gonna do that that spa pedicure like how they're gonna disinfect the tooth i want to see but that was a good first impression though it was very hectic they don't go by appointments like you'll make an appointment for 1 30 and you're not getting seen until two and that's what happened to me because it's like they overbook but they take care of everybody and the prices were decent like this was 60 dollars. i'm talking and didn't even show y'all my nails but look see my nails i wanted to go for something natural looking i'm driving so i'm walling right now natural looking and i switched up the shape why not period i did almond right tell me how you like it do you like it let me know do you like it um my hands are not chubby but they're short <laughs> i have very short fingers they're not elongated so i didn't want to do too too long like i looked it up and on pinterest the little tips on pinterest said like when you do square it kind of makes your fingers look more widened and i don't want that because this thumb is extra big because i broke it a long time ago and i never like got it set so it looks crazy right but anyways i love the way my nails look i did a natural color kind of like the color you would do when you're getting like a french maybe not really but i really like it it's just natural and it's just gonna look like it's my nails and that's what i was kind of going for and i'm so happy oh my goodness yo it is hot and i think it's gonna be even hotter tomorrow wow crazy can't complain though hmm. i'm trying to think what's for dinner tonight i've been um really challenging myself to prepare new meals on a weekly basis you know because i'm trying to get in the kitchen and stuff so i look up recipes or I, I get inspired from reels on instagram or tiktok more so instagram instagram is a little more slow for me tiktok the videos i feel cooking is like really fast for some reason so i get really inspired off of instagram mostly and some youtube some depending and if you follow me on instagram you already know i shared a reel of me making um barbecue chicken with cornbread corn on the cob and mac and cheese from the box i didn't get to the point yet where i'm gonna do like um from scratch one day soon and that reel did pretty well it got like 10,000 views why did i turn up this street nobody's moving no following this damn navigation uh, somebody mowing their lawn so if you follow me on instagram you already seen all of that i'll probably show like snippets in real time on instagram so i would encourage you to follow me on instagram like i show like things in real time i'll post a, like waiting on a vlog or a video from me so i mean if you don't have instagram sorry and if you don't want to follow me either sorry <laughs> but i'm just saying if you just wanted to see but at this very moment i am craving fried chicken like a nice extra crispy fried chicken and i don't know where that craving just randomly just while I was sitting down, getting my nails done, I just kept picturing me biting into a crispy wing. Like the part where you pull apart, that in-between part, just... <laughs>